Hi everybody, I'm Charlie and we're here with the 2016 Toyota Tacoma to do a backflip installation. We've opened up the box and taken things out. You're going to find a driver and passenger side rail, clamping brackets, elevator bolts that mount the cover to the rail in the front, drainage tubes, some new Torx bit screws, a couple of seals, and they all kind of come in this red bag. There is a bulkhead seal, but the new Tacoma doesn't need it. So let me just show you here. This is the one tool you're going to need. I recommend the drill. Battery operator is nice, but you need a T30. Uh, for a couple dollars, get the nice one. You don't want to strip out your bolts because you bought a cheap bit. So it's a Torx bit. It's got six little star point, and we're going to remove the original track system, but don't worry, we're going to reinstall it on our custom clamping brackets. There's another leap forward in back industries technology it comes from our engineering department. So this is going to bolt into existing threaded locations in the bed and relocate the track onto the bracket down one inch lower. So we're going to come in. Now I've taken the liberty to remove some of these bolts already. So this is going to take you a couple minutes longer you, I would expect. So there's going to be four or five of these bolts down the length. These are threaded inserts. We're going to remove the bulkhead piece with the same hardware and the passenger side and then we're going to come back and reinstall everything. This front bulkhead part has a simple seal. Now we've already installed it here. This fills in the gap here in the front corner and once removed you just tape that on the end both sides and then reinstall it. Now let's see if we can figure out how to install this rail. So the slotted bracket goes into the front and the opening goes to the tailgate. So now that we've figured out which side we're going to slide in the clamping brackets. Instead of using a C-clamp, we use this very clever engineering piece. And that just keys right in. Alright, now I've got them in place, so there's a weather seal. If you come in at a 45 degree angle, line it up at the front, set it in place, and the rail will rotate down. Then you take and you line up your bolts, Make sure you're installing slow and steady. You don't want to strip these out. And we have provided a longer Torx bit, so do not reuse the original screw. There's a replacement. Make sure you have it lined up. All right, we'll come back to that one in a second. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to jump over. There's a short screw. And if you put it on your fitting, insert it, and that goes into the threaded nut insert at the bottom of the clamping bracket. There are one in each clamping bracket position. Again, you want to tighten up all of those. The short bed have four, the long beds have five. We're going to tighten those in on both sides and come in and install the cover. All right, I'd like to talk to you about installing the buckle on the front of the cover. When the cover comes packaged, the small hinge panel is folded over and sandwiched between for packaging. But once you unfold it and install the buckle, you don't want to let that panel get stuck between there. You don't want to have that buckle interfere and cause any damage. So once you install the buckle, you're going to be installing the cover, and that's important so you don't cause any undue damage. Now, the buckle opening faces the tailgate so the strap can come over and clip in easily. Let's keep that in its position. So you take the small Phillips screw, Drop it into the hole on the top. There's two, one, two. With the opening for the buckle facing rearward towards the tailgate, put it into position there. 
Then there's a stem screw that goes in from the opposite direction. And you should be able to easily get the thread started. And that Phillips screw is gonna take hold. Use caution to make sure it's tight, but not overly tight. And again, the stem screw going in from the underneath side. And it catches the screw easily. Snug, but not over tight. Now we've got to place the elevator bolts through to secure the cover in the front. All right, so. Let's get that mounted and we'll show you how it goes underneath. Okay, we've set the cover on the rails already. We've got the short hinge panel with the mounting holes at the front next to the cab. We've already installed the buckles. So now we're ready to install the elevator bolts. But before we do this, we wanna make sure we add the bumpers, the cab bumpers to the cover. Now I've already pre-installed this one, three fingers from the side so that there's clearance for the rail. You don't want this to land on the rail. And then right along that edge, that very top edge of that panel. So if you have a slider window, you wanna make sure where to place that bumper on this particular cover it goes right in the middle but on other trucks you may want to split it in two and put it on each side where it will prevent any direct contact now that we've got the bumpers in place for our protection the elevator bolt has a flat head with a rubber seal it goes through the hole in the front of the cover and lines up with the slotted bracket in the rail underneath now if you pull the cable release and fold the cover open, you've got the bumpers preventing any direct contact already up front. Now when the threaded stud comes underneath, you start with the rubber washer, the flat steel washer, the locking washer, and then the five star thumb screw. and you tighten that loosely, we're gonna align the cover. We're gonna put those on both sides and we're gonna tighten it down. We're getting pretty close to finished here. Now that we've got the cover mounted loosely, we need to install the prop rod. There's a little swivel ball right there in the rail and that comes up and fits into the slide lock. This secures the cover in the open position. So everything's lined up, looks good. Now we just wanna make sure we tighten that up and the cover you wanna make sure that the side seal drops into the rail. If it's skew or at an angle and that rail grabs that seal, it can pull it out of that side rail a little bit. So as we close that down, let's just make sure that it's folding down squarely in the opening. That side seal is dropping right inside the rail. Now at the back, this half inch thick solid panel is gonna to need to drop inside that tailgate. So we've left that loose so we can make that adjustment. Now we can get up front, tighten up those locking bolts and install the drain tubes and we're gonna be done. All right, the last little bit is these black drain tubes. In the front corner of the rail is a fitting that that drain tube goes right onto. Now in the Fords and the GMs, there's an oval plug, a plastic plug in the Toyota Tacoma, they've got a composite bed. So in the front corner, you can reveal a little quarter inch hole that they've got already there. Using care to check underneath, using the corner location, you can drill that hole and route that drain fitting. Now your backflip installation is complete and it's time to enjoy your new cover with your new Toyota Tacoma.